Hi, I'm Ryan Fleming, coming to you from the Xbox booth at E3. And hey, I'm Lisa Gurry, I'm with the Xbox team, I'm a senior director on the team, and we're really excited to have you guys here today. So it looks like, if you can see behind us, there are a lot of people here. As soon as the doors opened, a flood of humanity came right for this booth. Uh, so what's the reaction you've been hearing? It seems to be pretty positive so far. Uh, we are having the best time. This is the, the perfect spot to be. We've got the bird's eye view. There are literally thousands of people uh, flooding through the doors right now and checking out all the great games that we unveiled at our, at our briefing yesterday. And we have been really blown away by the response. Uh, we announced uh, availability details yesterday and within four hours, Amazon.com nearly sold out of their whole supply. Yeah. So uh, the demand has been uh, incredible. And, and you guys, have you given an exact release date or just the window of November? Just November, uh, the magical month of November. Do you, do you know when we're gonna have an exact day? We'll uh, announce more details over the coming months. All right, worth uh, a try. Uh, try. Good, good effort. So uh, have you guys been looking at the competition, what they're doing, or are you guys focused only on what you're doing and see what happens later? Well, it's just such an incredible time to be a gamer. Right. Uh, the amount of energy and excitement and passion for the gaming industry is unmatched. This is an incredible year, and we are so excited that we have such a pivotal role to play within the industry with Xbox 360 being the leading console. We have over 77 million customers uh, that uh, are loving the Xbox brand currently. And with Xbox One, we're just so excited to take gaming to the next level and really introduce a new generation of games and entertainment to gaming fans all over the world. All right, and uh, so what are you personally most excited to show people, both with the hardware or what game are you really wanting people to get their hands on? The amount of blockbuster games that were unveiled, yeah. uh, it was just simply incredible. Everything from uh, you know the epic Roman warfare that we see in Rise to the next generation uh, racing franchise that we have with Forza 5 to really cool levels of creativity with Project Spark where anyone will be able to create their own video game, uh, even using the sound of their own voice and right. gestures. Uh, there's just a tremendous amount of innovation, um, a lot of uh, focus on taking what people love and really taking that to the next level, and then also blowing people away with totally new concepts. Yeah. So uh, across the board, it's been fun. So you guys uh, you surprised a lot of people with Titanfall being a, a, a Microsoft exclusive, or at least a PC and, uh, and Xbox One exclusive. So, but in this day, is it gonna be, do you think it's the software or is it the hardware that people are gonna gravitate more to? Well, we think that, uh, you know, across the board, the amount of exclusives, we had over 17 new generation exclusives right. announced, which was really exciting for us. Um, and uh, the, uh, the combination, really, of the hardware and software, it's really, I think, such a melding moment where uh, we've invested a lot of effort and energy in ensuring that our hardware was leading edge, uh, really enabling us to deliver those next generation scenarios. But also, the, the software helps make all of the magic come to life as well. And then we have the cloud, which is kind of the third component, which yeah. will really let us do cool things like have that drive avatar in Forza 5, for example, that can really learn and adapt to the way that you personally drive yeah. and give you the opportunity to play against people in real time. So I think it's, a, it's the combination of the full package that's going to make Xbox One uh, what we hope will be the, the top uh, gaming console of the next generation. Gotcha. And speaking of with the, uh, with the Kinect and the new hardware itself, uh, a lot of the games it seems Connect is just taken for granted almost as part of the integration. Are we going to see more Connect specific titles or is it all just one thing now? Well, we view Connect technology really as an integral part right. of Xbox One. So, one of the nice things about including Connect uh, is that game creators can count on that technology as they're developing the game, as an integral part of the way that the game comes to life. So, for example, with Rise, you can call in troops to support you when you're in the heat of the battle right, with right. the sound of your voice, which I love. That's really cool. um, or with, you know, kill, with um, Killer Instinct, uh, for example, you can, you know, pick and choose the weapons that you're using, all with the sound of your voice. Um, let's see, uh, Dead Rising 3 is another great example yes. where uh, you can uh, control the action on the screen and the zombies that are that are uh, all around you, again, all with the sound of your voice and the gestures that you're using. So it's really being built in as an integral part of the way these games are coming to life in a way that um, provides a lot more freedom, a lot more flexibility, and a lot more creativity yeah. uh, to, the, to the creators. And uh, finally, is Microsoft going to win the next battle? We certainly hope so. Uh, it's really all about delivering a great experience for our fans. Yeah. And uh, there are millions and millions of uh, fans out there that have invested in, in Xbox, 
they, they, they know that uh, we love gamers. We're committed to delivering the absolute best experience possible. And we're really trying to knock their socks off here at E3 uh, with an incredible blockbuster lineup of games. All right, well, thank you for your time and good luck. Thank you so much.